Man, feels like forever since the shield hero units dropped and I'm only just getting to showcase the Philo here. Now, unfortunately, I was obviously going to wait until I had the Holy Relic for her before I started doing my initial showcases, all that kind of stuff. But uh, the second I went ahead and got her Holy Relic, my Wi-Fi has been out for the past couple of days, so I have not seen any of her gameplay, anything like that as of yet. So this is all first impressions and I mean, that is, <laughs> that is some really, really good damage. Are we going to completely... Okay, almost team wiping turn one. That is that is really impressive. And she is that exact kind of archetype of character I like where they are fully orientated around their damage. And well, I mean, she does have the stun card here, the same one as the goddess Elizabeth. I still feel like with the sever, oh sorry, the weak point AoE, she is heavily, you know, moved towards her damage, all that kind of stuff. And definitely have a couple teams I'm looking to showcase with her. I still also have a whole bunch of teams to do with the uh, Naofumi and Raftalia, but We'll go ahead and get to those at a later date. Uh, let's go one, two, and then throw another one of those out there. But absolutely love this costume for it and love the Holy Relic. It's really sick that she has one that kind of works as her boots or her heels in a way. Don't think we're going to be able to finish everyone off this turn. But yeah, no, good to finally be back doing videos. I was actually heartbroken when that happened because I just wanted to be able to show her off. She was probably the character I was looking forward to most. As of this afternoon, we have, of course, our second half of the Shield Hero collab. Not an awful lot with today's update, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. I'm still really surprised that we didn't go ahead and get any story, anything like that with the event, because, I mean, for the first time ever, I was really looking to make a video on the story, especially since this is a series I hadn't seen. But no, disappointing that. And then also with the passives, I was really surprised to see that you could instantly unlock the character passives. That's the first time they've ever done this. Almost made it feel a tiny bit like a budget collab. Of course, I'm still very happy with the characters, character designs, all that kind of stuff, but... Who knows, let me know what you guys think about that one, but with this week's update we have the Hawk Awesome Treasure Chest, basically getting to open your 9 chests a day. Uh, other than that, we have a new Tower of Trials, which is really, really interesting, definitely gonna have to do a video on that. I saw, I think it was Rigatoni did a post saying the second they allowed you to kind of use whatever team you wanted for each one of the stages, initially Tower of Trials you had to build a team at the start and go through all 25 floors with that same team. They adjusted that and increased the ease of the event, and I kind of agree with them with that one there. I feel like upon its release, even though it was a lot harder content, which in my eyes also makes it more enjoyable, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see about that one. I also don't think they've kind of increased the difficulty. Obviously, being a club, there's going to be a whole bunch of new players. They'll need to keep it relatively easy for people coming to the game to celebrate the Shield Hero collab, but uh, decent rewards, all that kind of stuff there, good amount of Super Awakening coins, Anvil Hammers, all that kind of stuff. And we also got a gold donation event, which is great. I would highly recommend everyone do the gold donation event. And then another one of the battle events where you get your two gems, do all your missions, all that kind of stuff. But let's go ahead, since we have the level three here, we'll show this off. So the animation looks like for her. Hey, I mean, not too bad. Some pretty good damage against Twigo there. Can we finish things off with the Echidna? Maybe? Just shy. I mean, stomping a barn team, that is really impressive. And I mean, why not? Since we have the ultimate here, we'll go ahead and see the animation. I'm hoping it doesn't cut out as soon as some of the other ones were. 412. Wow, that's only 1 6. God damn. And really easily winning against a barn team as well. That is exactly what you just want to see. Uh, coming up against a Rimuru, I'm really looking forward to using Rimuru alongside the Philo here. Let's go for the same thing we've been doing pretty much all of these turns. 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, and I saw a whole lot of fun with Echidna. I don't think I'll do a crazy amount more showcase. I feel like a perfect partner for Philo is definitely the best Merlin. Oh, wow, that is... She is so impressive. She isn't 15% rolls, anything like that. I love her cosmetics purchase, but definitely not upgrade. It is it is so expensive to fully upgrade cosmetics for four characters. That's a whole team's worth of characters there. I don't know what Netmarble expects us to do, especially with how soon they've been dropping these club characters together. We've had highly anticipated characters like Festival Rosa drop. Freya, who was quite some time ago now, but they literally forced him or forced us to 6-6 six, six him. So, and then now with another collab and coming towards the end of the year, we're going to get probably some of our strongest releases of the year. So who knows, maybe another trade of Meliodas just around the corner. So definitely some stuff you want to be, definitely want to be saving your gems towards the end of the year. That's for sure. And our first demon team in the video using the Sigurd comp. So is it in our best interest to hold off on this first turn here, or do we still want to go ahead and attack? Uh, I mean, we are so heavily orientated around doing damage. I definitely would have liked a stronger starting hand when it comes to damage. Uh, for some reason, I have a feeling like we might be able to kill Asterosa. I don't know, man. Hopefully he's running attack crit. 
I mean, definitely not the way you want to run Esterosa, especially when I initially built mine. I went ahead and did him attack crit. Man, none of these teams are surviving long enough for us to actually get to show some defending turns. So, I mean, it's how I like to play the game, 100%, but of course, due to that fact, we are full attack crit. And the CC is just a tad bit low, uh, even with a ram in the back having some pretty decent CC. I have a pretty well built and pretty good at associations for all of these characters, obviously, all 6-6 six, six max cosmetics, but I don't know, man, it's so hard to get that. 360, 370, and especially 380 CC if you're not running something like a HP defense, but who knows, maybe I'm just not well enough, but it seems to be the case for me. And why not? We'll go ahead and put him out of his misery. This should be just enough to finish off the ominous nebula Zoldus. Man, still really wishing they made that character just a little bit better than he currently is. I don't he was so sought after and we're looking forward to him for so long. I mean at least his costumes are sick, and I feel like if you're looking for backline characters for a demon team. There are ones on par or maybe even better. And wow, it is super, super rare. I feel like, or at least for myself to find these Bronhold teams, getting our CC, man, there's there's such a high chance we get instantly one tapped here. It doesn't look like he has the Holy Relic for DN, but we'd have to go ahead and actually inspect him to be able to fully check that one. I do also have enough materials for the DN now, so depending on the next week's update or the up and coming update for the Japanese version, if we don't any, get any really cool Demon Holy Relics, I may go ahead and make that one just because, I don't know, I'd really like to go ahead and try out this team and oh, come on man, really gonna kill Healer right off the bat, that was the one character I was looking to showcase. Uh, what do we want to? Oh, we could just go full damage with Ekena and go ahead and rush her ultimate. I'm hoping this gives us just a bit of life steal as well because man, she is really, really low. Then go for that one there. Perfect. I'm not too sure what alt level I have the Echidna either, so this could be just a tad bit underwhelming. Come on, please. Okay, it's not, it's definitely not damage cap for the Deanne Holy Relic. I forgot to inspect that one as well, but regardless, we're not doing enough damage, so should be fine. Especially with two, two really strong red powerhouses. I mean, they're not Reinhardt and Barn, but this Brunhardt especially, and it looks like we only have the Echidna 1 6. I mean, hey, we. I'm glad we at least ended up losing one of the matches, just goes to show that if you end up going second, you're really, really going to pay for it using full attack crew. There we go, that is about does it for today's video. Of course, since it is Philo's first showcase, I will go ahead and show off our gear, all that kind of stuff. Uh, unfortunately, in Masters 4, I was really low ranked it towards the end of the last season and haven't really paid PvP or played, I should say, PvP an awful lot since I haven't been able to do any showcases, so kind of just try and stick towards grinding the other things. but. Having a quick look at her first card here, she inflicts weak point damage equal to 185% of attack on all enemies. Her second card cancels stanzas on one enemy and inflicts damage equal to 250% of attack, then stuns for two turns. The ultimate at 1 6 decrease all enemies HP related stats by 5% for two turns, then inflicts damage equal to 630% of attack on one enemy. Her passive when an ally deals damage to an enemy using a skill, it ignores 8% crit resistance and 8% crit defense for every debuff applied to the enemy, and increases the hero's damage dealt by 60% when using single target attack skills, excluding the auto moves, against enemies with 5 or more debuffs, and then the rest of that one there, and then last but not least, her holy relic increases the hero's attack related stats by 3% for every debuff applied to on all enemies, limit to 15 times, so... <clears throat> I mean, could definitely see a more debuff oriented team working on her. Maybe running her alongside the hijack Gothar could be a real good play to play it as well. But jumping over to her equip and mint here, nothing super impressive. I did, of course, leave the weaker parts as SSR just because, once again, making UR sets for 14 characters can be a bit tough. And then these are just all of her cosmetics, once again. No real upgrades, but I just would like to apologize for, you know, the lack of uploads as of recent. Once again, the Wi Fi was that kind of out of my control, but. There we go, that just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, if so, please hit like button, subscribe. It really means a lot to me and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.